Okay, so this question going to be very fucking annoying for many students, okay? It's not difficult. It's just a question of do you know your microbiology? Um, the USMLE, you're going to get one or two of these questions on your form, okay? Uh, if you're not shooting for a 260, don't have to worry about it. If you want a good score, you're going to have to know your basic uh, viral structures, okay? So we have this three-month-old girl. She has one week history of strider. Her mother is HIV. Fiber optic laryngoscopy is performed and shown below. The diagnosis is laryngeal papillomatosis. This is HPV, human papillomavirus, literally six or 11 of the vocal cords. Okay, it causes uh, these war essentially warts of the vocal cords, laryngeal papillomatosis. They have easier questions on the USMLE. There's an NBME exam for step one where they show you an image like this, and the answer is just HPV six or HPV 11. Okay. Easy question. But then of course I decided to escalate it and be an asshole by putting the viral structures here, but it's just to reiterate the point that you need to know these for USMLE if you want a higher level score. So why don't we look at the answers here? Um, HPV is, is a DNA virus. Okay. So we can just look at these first four, and then we say, is it enveloped or naked? Naked is the same thing as non-enveloped. Uh, on the NBME exams for step one, they will sometimes say naked. So you can obviously infer this, not, not difficult, uh, but naked is also just non-enveloped. So it is indeed non-enveloped, and then it's going to be circular. Okay, so DNA non-enveloped circular is our HPV 6 and 11. Uh, in addition to HPV, DNA naked circular also refers to JC and BK polyoma viruses. JC polyoma virus obviously causing uh, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, uh, classically seen immunocompromised patients. BK polyoma virus uh, in renal transplant recipients going to cause a urothelial slash renal dysfunction. Why don't we just look at, I'll quickly blast through some of these other answer choices. Okay, this can get overwhelming very fucking fast for everybody involved, okay? So choice A, wrong fucking answer, DNA envelope circular. That is hepatitis B, okay? DNA envelope linear, this refers to the herpes viridae, literally HHV1 all the, all the way through HHV8, HSV1, HSV2, varicella, EBV, CMV, HHV6, roseola, HHV7, uh, pteriasis rosea, HHV8, Kaposi sarcoma-like viruses, uh, Kaposi sarcoma-like virus. They will make that distinction on USMLE, very high yield. They're going to show you a picture of herpes labialis. You're like, okay, that's that's easy. And then rather than having herpes, they do exactly what I did here. And the answer would be DNA enveloped linear, okay? Whereas DNA enveloped circular is hepatitis B, as I said. DNA naked circular, uh, we just said, uh, was our answer. So HPV and also the polyomaviruses, BK and JC. And then DNA naked linear, this refers to parvovirus B19, single-stranded, and adenovirus, double-stranded. Uh, obviously, parvovirus B19 causes the slap cheek appearance, okay, fifth disease in kids. A lot we can talk about. I'm just moving us through, staying concise. Adenovirus is going to be the most common cause of viral conjunctivitis, also hemorrhagic cystitis. RNA enveloped circular, this will refer to arenavirus, um, which can cause lymphocytic choreomeningitis. Weird thing you don't need to know for step one. Um, also, that's bunya virus and hantavirus. Bunya virus being Crimean Congo, hemorrhagic fever, hantavirus uh, being a pulmonary, uh, hemorrhagic pulmonary infection. You get hantavirus from hanta and bunya, you get from mice. Okay, that's asked on the US simile. I've had a student get that once. Okay. Um, but we're talking low yield for that for those viruses, but nevertheless, that's what this answer choice refers to. RNA enveloped linear is many things, uh, but uh, this would refer to coronavirus. It would also refer to uh, pneumovirus, aka parainfluenza virus, RSV, respiratory, respiratory syncytial virus, mumps and measles also would be uh, influenza virus. And 
and rabies that would be as well okay and then RNA naked circular that is going to be uh, actually I don't necessarily think that refers to anything um, this could be rotavirus which is wheel in a wheel like in appearance I don't think that's technically correct to say that rotavirus is double-stranded segmented RNA and it's not enveloped and the genome uh, with its 10, 10 to 11 segments can actually arrange into a, a wheel-like fashion. And they've said that on USMLE. They'll give you a two-year-old a two-year-old who has watery diarrhea, and they say the virus is wheel-shaped. That's a rotavirus. Uh, RNA, uh, non-enveloped or naked linear. That's going to be uh, many things, including... Um, Enteroviruses, so your Coxsackie A and B, poliovirus, and echovirus will also be hepatitis A. And um, this would also be naked linear. This would also be uh, Colti virus, which causes um, Colorado tick fever. Okay, so I'm trying to think if I missed anything here. Yeah, RNA enveloped linear. Um, I had mentioned, so I mentioned a bunch, but I can add to this actually. Um, this would include HIV. This would include um, HTLV1 and 2. This would include uh, alpha viruses and hepatitis C, flaviviridae. Hep well, hep C is now in its own family, hep C viridae, but flaviviridae, including yellow fever, uh, Zika virus, um, and West Nile virus, Japanese encephalitis. Um, okay, a lot we can fucking talk about. As I said, it can get very complicated very fucking fast. And, you know, I don't mean to go on endlessly here. We could talk a lot about these viruses, but I just want to give you a little bit of additional value apart from just showing you this image instantaneously telling you it's uh, that HPV is DNA naked circular and then being like, okay, that's your 30 second clip piece. Uh, so I just gave you a little bit of extra value there. But the reinforcement is, um, or the point I want to reiterate is you should know these structures for USMLE if you have an intention of breaking 260 on the exam, okay? If you're not, if you're just trying to, you know, again, the 250s are lower, you probably don't have to worry about this. Obviously, I'll make easier questions as well. That's it, all right? If you liked this, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time.